Hey guys, and I'm Raimondo Alfache, and I'm back with another video, which is, um, this video will going to be how to make a network topology and uh, CLI, I mean the Cisco Packet Tracer, and without using a CLI, or the command line interface. So, last time I make, I made a video, which is, uh, go to the video sub so if you didn't subscribe to my channel yet um, can I say you be sure to subscribe because I will be uh, making a um, many useful uh, content in the YouTube community so as you can see right there I have I have a video part 1 part 2 part 3 and part 4 so the part 1 uh, this is a how to make a network topology let me just click that thing right there so let's just let's just watch that hi feature ID hi guys today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make a network topology I'm going to be making a wide area network so and, it's just um, forward or something click the link in the description below if you haven't installed the Cisco packet tracer yet I will provide a video for that this Cisco packet tracer so anyway let me just close that and if you did not install Cisco packet tracer make sure to install that or else you can do this thing so just open the Cisco packet tracer right there and so as the same it is basically the same I will be um, separating this video into many uh, parts or episodes so this thing will be the first episode for this tutorial which is how to make a network topology and configuring without using a command line interface or a CLI and anyway le let me just get started so the first thing you'll need to do is to select devices so I'm gonna be uh, selecting the router and choosing the 2811 router and I'm gonna have be having two routers and also I a couple of computer generic computer so as you can see right there I know you can just find that two generic computer and then uh, of course switches so I'm gonna be having the generic switch as well and uh, two of them and then connect it um, with the Cooper straight Cooper straight through cable so and then just fast Ethernet port and the first fast and run port and do that the same thing with uh, the computer to switch and also we can use Cooper straight through cable for the switch to router so select the first fast Ethernet port then the fast Ethernet port fast Ethernet port fast Ethernet port so and then um, in this to connect these two routers right here you can just choose automatically connect choose connection type and that is not the best way so let me just delete that so select this delete button right the right here and it was just being deleted so we can use a serial DCE but there is no serial port interface so we can have a serial port interface go in the physical tab and then turn the um, the router off by clicking the switch right here and then go to the WIC 2T and then drag that all the way on the interface and then make sure to turn that back back on I almost forgot that so do that the same in the second router or the router one so go go in the physical tab and turn this switch off and that is basically the switch of the router 
that is not a switch that is a switch for the router to turn on and turn off so drag the wick 2 t all the way there and then oh I, I almost forgot again so just turning that back on huh and then you can now use the C the uh, serial DCE uh, cable so select the first serial or just the second serial but I have to select first uh, as you can see right here the first serial port so as you can see it is now connected with serial DCE so I think that's it for this video and don't worry I will continue this video and uh, just basically you can find the playlist link in the description below click that to have all of the parts and then um, don't worry I will continue I should continue it so um, the next thing we will be doing is maybe labeling of, of the different network address and the different IP address of the port and then the computer and then the router uh, interfaces and um, if you watch the video last time that I made which is the same tutorial as this but I did use CLI or the command line interface with that so we, in this tutorial I will not use even a single type of the CLI I will not type anything on the CLI I will configure it manually so that's the thing right here so make sure to continue watching this video and um, in case if you did not subscribe to my channel well I should say that you should subscribe to my channel to have more updates especially when you have uh, you know check the send notification if this channel was uh, uploading and um, I should say that you should subscribe or I don't care if you don't but um, if you subscribe to my channel you can get some benefits like um, because I am making a very useful contents some tutorials for specifically in computing in computing in computer and I'm an ID student and uh, and that's basically me so thanks for watching and hopefully you will continue watching to the next part and then click the link in the description below for the playlist see you on my next video